Hello again, everybody. It is the coach. You're tuned in to Madden 19 on EA Sports. Coming up next, we've got what should be a good one between the Chicago Bears and the Buffalo Bills. With that, let's get up to Buffalo. Standing by at New Era Field, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, from the home of the Bills since 1973, there's a look at New Era Field just outside of Buffalo, New York. The folks in Buffalo love their Bills, and a moment ago, they entered to the delight of this sold-out crowd. They're set for football as their Bills will do battle with the Chicago Bears. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me, as always, Charles Davis. And, Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. It's the first weekend of autumn, and the NFL is in full swing as off we go on EA Sports. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Chicago Bears offense taking the field, and this Bears crew was on the wrong side of an Aaron Rodgers comeback the other night. And, you know, Mitchell Trubisky, 23 of 35, 171 yards on the road. What did you think of his performance? Well, I thought he looked like a good second-year quarterback who's going to get better. I mean, one of the things that, that I noticed was his new coach, Matt Nagy, his new offensive coordinator, they played to his strength, which he can use his wheels. End up running for 32 yards on the ground as well, and they used him for some key runs or just all-out quarterback sweeps with some lead blockers. So we'll see some extra wrinkles as we go on, but I think his big right arm will come into play more as the season develops. Now Trubisky on first down, and his first pass is incomplete. And let's take a look at the Bears' offense. At running back is Jordan Howard, who was an absolute revelation as a rookie, but he finished second to Ezekiel Elliott for the rushing title in 2016. And no sophomore slump for him at all. Followed it up with a second straight 1,000-yard season and finished fifth in the league in rushing. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. A first carry now for Jordan Howard. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two, now third down. A right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. Three and out, a real danger here on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 12. From the shotgun is Trubisky. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 18 yards there and a first down. Throw on first down with Trubisky. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Burton. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. And the big meet on the D-line. We'll see how they do today. And I'd hate to be an offensive lineman having to deal with these guys. They come in hungry, mean, and confident. They think that no one can block them. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Yeah. 
Here's the first carry for Tariq Cohen. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. From the gun, it's Trubisky. And Miller with it over the middle. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. It felt like Mitchell Trubisky, the quarterback for the Bears, was in the draft room with his general manager because picking up this pass catcher from Memphis, Anthony Miller, made to order for a young quarterback. A nice slot who can make plays like we just saw. He is fun to watch. Went from being a walk-on in Memphis to completely rewriting the record books out wide. We get set to see Buffalo here in just a second on offense in week one, that QB controversy for the Bills. Waited all of about one half of the first game just to rear its ugly head because you've got Nathan Peterman who did not play well. And then really, to be frank, Josh Allen came in. He didn't do very well either. Now you mentioned the head, right? Well, that position got flipped on its head. Remember, A.J. McCarron was supposed to be the starter to begin the year. He's already been traded to Oakland. Josh Allen, many thought that they would go with the rookie. They decided not to. And here comes Nathan Peterman, who struggled in his only start in 2017. He struggles again in 2018. 5 of 18, 24 yards, two interceptions. Josh Allen comes in. He's just 6 of 15 for 74 yards. The biggest issue for Buffalo, their offensive line. Neither quarterback will have a chance until they get that taken care of. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. So not much to speak of scoring-wise in this first quarter of play. Nothing, nothing, our score. And we're back to upstate New York after this. The NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. You're not you and you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Second quarter about to get underway with the Bills in possession. They've got a second down at five here to start things out. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Zay Jones was the intended receiver. And it's third down. Oh, boy, partner, did that just happen? I've got my hand over my eyes right now because, like, like him, it's going to haunt my dreams, too. He was wide open. How did he overthrow him there? Uh, defensively, just very lucky. You know that they got away with one there. Allen from the gun on third down. Gets it to Benjamin. It's caught. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a pickup of 17 on that one and a Bills first down. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. Here's Allen on first and ten. Caught on the left side by Benjamin. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time, and a first down. Leopard, Leopard. 
So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 47. Two minutes remain in a scoreless first half. Back to Buffalo after this. A reminder coming up at halftime, we'll check in with our Jonathan Coachman. He'll have highlights and analysis of the first half, and our highlights will likely be on the defensive side of the football here. Scoreless game. will come in. One of the Bills got going a little early. False start. Offense. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. Still first down. The full start backs him up five, first and 15. Let's go! Again, they'll throw with Allen. He's got the hook up to Andre Holmes. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Now Allen again. Holmes has got it complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. The Mills passing game, getting them down the field. They've got another first down. They're piecing together a nice drive to start this one. Seems pretty scripted and pretty successful so far. And I think they did it without our help. Because you remember when we sat in with the, in the production meeting with them to talk about this and, hey, you know, you guys didn't come out of the gate. I know I offered my help with a few plays, and they didn't seem to want I didn't offer it. mine. You, know, you, were, you were the smart one. Whatever they're doing, though, it's working really well. Hurry up, here we go. Green, 39. Green, 39. Allen now on first down. Benjamin with it over the middle. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So the offensive unit called the T.O. and now we are ready to resume play. First trip to the red zone for the Bills. They've got a first and 10 at the 17. Now let's go. Green, 39. Green, 39. Ah! Allen to throw once more. And oh, he took that in one-handed. What a grab. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. Here we go now. Three, ah! And again, it's Allen. Unable to 
corral him. He fights through. It's complete right side to Benjamin. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it now. The confidence is starting to rise. I think now as a play caller, because that has happened, you lean on it a little bit more. You don't go totally away from running the football, but you do say, guess what? We can throw it. We can throw it well with a whole lot of confidence. Throwing is Allen on third. And he'll check this one down to McCoy. And now the Bears electing to call a timeout defensively. As it comes with 22 seconds to go here at half number one. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. Field goal forthcoming for Steven Hauschka. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And this one will not work out. It is incomplete. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. Uh, for the Chicago fans, as the Bears come back on the field here, I, I hate to beat a dead horse, but you, you go back to that opener. What a heartbreaker. They had the 20 to nothing lead in Green Bay, your division rival. Everything was rolling, and then Aaron Rodgers led that a comeback. But how do they rebound from that? That was a tough defeat. Yeah, it really was. I think they said during the game that the 17 to nothing lead at the half for Chicago, that was the biggest deficit Green Bay had had at home since 1958 wow. in the first half. So that tells you what a big deal it was. How do they rebound? Number one, you embrace the disappointment. You realize how, how bad it was and what an opportunity you let slip away. And then you emphasize all the positives in the game, how they ran the football well on offense, how on defense, Khalil Mack led a bunch of guys getting after the quarterback. Take that, move forward. They got a chance to be a pretty decent team. So plenty of action on the field, but no action right now on the scoreboard, at least as of yet. Nothing, nothing is our score. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been a defensive stalemate. No scoring in that first half whatsoever but a breakthrough can't be too far off. And for the start of the second half, let's get you right back out to Brandon and Charles. All right, coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. So no scoring in our first half. What will the second half bring as we are now back underway? This is fielded at the goal line. Uses the spin. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Out come the Bills now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. There are zero points on the scoreboard for either side. It'll be interesting to see what adjustments were made. The defenses have obviously been great. 
So if you like defense, this is a classic game. This is what you're looking for. But now you're trying to figure out how to gain any type of an advantage on offense. Is it through a big chunk play that they haven't seen before? Or is it just running your regular offense and running it better, trying to create an opportunity? We'll, we'll see which avenue they choose to go down. Hurry up, here we go. Ah! Throwing on first down is Allen. Looking downfield for Jones. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Hang on now. Green, 39. And here's Allen to throw again. Man open right side. It's the tight end, Clay. And down he'll go at the 25. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. And, partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. The last catch did get three, but they're still left needing seven yards on third down. Here we go. Green, 39. Green, 39. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Holmes. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 14 yards, and the Bills will get a new set of downs. Nice catch right there. Brings to mind the sentence. When in doubt, find your veterans. He used to laugh back in the day when they would call guys like him crafty veterans. You, know, you get up in your 30s, you're still playing receiver, but you're around that long at that position, you're doing something right. Just remember this. When he was young, he thought the crafty veteran was simply a guy who couldn't run anymore. Now he understands a little bit better. First down, Allen toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Zay Jones that time. That'll bring up second down. Well, we got a second here to look back to week one. A handful of nice road wins. The biggest surprise, no doubt, CD. How about Tampa Bay winning at New Orleans? Yeah, that was a big one because I'm not sure how many people really expected that. We looked at the schedule in preseason and thought, oh, my God, for Tampa. At New Orleans, at home for Philadelphia, home for Pittsburgh. I think it was an 0-3 start. If they won one of them, it would be great. Well, they got it on Sunday, winning at New Orleans. Washington at Arizona, Cincinnati at Indianapolis, Kansas City at the Chargers. All of them had big wins in week one. But didn't you think Chicago was going to pull it out? Oh, that was going to be a stunner. And if Chicago and the Saints had won, some elimination pools wouldn't have had many people left. Yeah, but Aaron Rodgers showed up, and poor Chicago went home with an L. The Bills on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and seven. Hurry up, here we go. Ah! Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. Pressure, and he's taken down. A bear sack. And they brought the pressure there just right up the gut, didn't they? Yeah, they certainly did. And you know, when you've got so many different responsibilities as an offensive line, you got to deal with the nose tackle, the two defensive tackles or ends, and then sometimes you just can't account for everyone. The linebacker slipped free. The Bills send the punter out as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. Fielded at the 20. It'll be a 48-yard punt. Five there on the return. And the Bears take over. 
So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. Their defense did its job, yielded no points. Now it's the offense's turn. And how much fun is that when you set things up to start a half and you just tell you guys, hey, if you can shut them down, get it back for our offense, we can roll. And they played out perfectly. Now, can the offense do what they wanted to do at the half, which is find those weaknesses and now attack them and score some points. And break this tie. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. Encroachment, defense. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game down. for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. So this helps to start a drive. After the penalty, it'll be first and five. Out of the gun, Trubisky. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Burton, and he'll be brought down right around the 37. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. another play so we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close we'll return with more after this you're watching the nfl on ea sports back now in buffalo as it looks like we are just about set and ready to begin with the fourth down Trubisky he's gonna dump that off to his running back Cohen and he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39 give him two yards on that play and it'll bring up a second down I know most of the time when the ball's in the air you're thinking wide receiver tight end but running backs they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. They run play action for Howard. Now Trubisky. Rush coming and he's taken down. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. sack of Trubisky. Time for a break. We'll come back and see how it all shakes out after this. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now 
Let's see what they draw up here. Third and long following the sack of Trubisky. Throwing here, Trubisky. And he's got some space here. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. Here's Pat O'Donnell now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. The Bills offense coming out, ready to take over. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. intended target and now it's second down so he's unable to complete it there and just not the game that you would expect from him he's been off the mark really start to finish yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on is he a little bit dinged up here or is it just off just by a bit maybe he can get it back in this situation he'll need to hurry up here we go Green. Ah! Allen to throw the left side completion to Jones and they'll mark him down right around the nine, just shy of the ten. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. What do you think? Play this safe? Just worry about getting to OT? Yeah, don't make any risky throws. It's going to change the outcome. But if anyone slips, take the big shot. The Bills on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and six. Now the first carry for the former Jaguar. This is Chris Ivory. Now the Bears electing to call a timeout defensively as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. <laughs> and now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. The Bills send the punter out, standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. That's pulled in at the 32. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And possession will switch, hands first and 10. Now the Bears offense ready to take over again. They need to get this around the 40 to have a chance to win it in regulation. From the 40, it's a 57-yard field goal, so that gives you a gauge. And all they're trying to do now is pick up yardage in good chunks and get out of bounds to stop the clock. If they end up running a play and get tackled in bounds, they're worried the clock may run out on them and finish the game. And they'll have to be careful how they handle this. The Bears in good field position to start out first and 10. It's Trubisky. The screen pass here to Cohen. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Trubisky to throw. 
And he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. Nearly an interception. If that one's picked off, it's over. So a new lease on life, so to speak. A lot of times when you're in coverage, you're so focused on the man and the coverage that sometimes the ball, if it arrives, it surprises you. That may have happened to him in that situation. The Bears on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third down and 12. Trubisky with a give to Howard. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Now the Bills will take another timeout as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath and now they're back out and ready. Here's Pat O'Donnell now, as he's on to punt for Chicago. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. They have a little bit of time here to get into field goal range. Not much. In a tie game, you don't want to do anything crazy, right? I agree with you on that one. Risk reward, okay? If you go for it, what is the absolute reward on this? But the risk is probably greater. Run the clock out, get to overtime, and try and win it there. All right, we'll see if they do just that. Start on the ground with McCoy. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 14 yard line. And that's going to go as a loss of six, and it'll set him back for second down. At this stage, you've got to hustle. Got to get back to the line of scrimmage because you're saving that timeout to make sure you have a chance to get your kicker out there for the big shot. we go how much fun is this for everyone who's watching the game how much fun is it for us to see this one get an extra period to get settled and here in overtime if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown it's over if they don't we can still have some more football that's exactly right if they go down and kick a field goal the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. Nothing between these two teams for four quarters. Here we go to begin overtime. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The Bears' offense now getting ready to take over. Except for their first drive here in overtime. And this is where the crowd can really become a factor. They've had to battle it all day, but I know what you're saying. In overtime... That gets double, doesn't it? At least, because now the crowd really wants to be involved and help their team, and that first drive can dictate the whole thing because they know if this team takes it downfield and scores a touchdown, it's game over. It's been loud in here so far. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 27. They go play action. Trubisky over the middle. It's incomplete. Allen Robinson, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. You got to remember, because now that we're in overtime, mistakes get magnified. So you got to walk that line between being aggressive 
and being careful because that was a dangerous throw right there. You obviously could not have an interception in this spot. It nearly was an interception. He's lucky to get that one back. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Jerry Hughes on the stop. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Yeah, four C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. Third and eight situation. A tough spot here in overtime on the opening drive. From the shotgun is Trubisky. Over the middle complete. That's Burton. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. First down, they run with Howard. And now running right through it. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Second down, here's Trubisky. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Trubisky finding the former Eagle Burton for the Chicago first. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fellow runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside here in overtime. So we're back in the offense getting set following the call of that timeout. here on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Well, what was the term that you just used a minute ago? Well, especially at overtime, mistakes get magnified. So it's time for us to get our microscopes out, right? I mean, take a look at what's going on out there. That was very close to being a crucial play. Yeah, got to look that ball in, didn't, and it hit the ground. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Here's Trubisky to throw. Going to let one fly for Robinson. Oh, and it's intercepted. Able to get there and pick it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. A costly mistake here at OT. And you know what they say when you throw an interception like that in overtime? You don't usually get a chance to throw a second one. I mean, I'm not sure the analytics on it. Let's ask Marvin, our statistician, to, to ring that down for us. That's typically how coaches and teams feel about it. If you throw one, you likely cost yourself the game. And here come the Bills. 
Their defense did its job, got the stop. All they need is three, and this is over. Couldn't have done much else other than score themselves and end it, but they turned it back over to them, and now all they need is a field goal to win the game. An excellent job by the defense. Can the offense finish things off? Yeah, part one is done, now part two. Start the drive with a carry by McCoy. And he'll get only a couple up to the 22. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. And we're back. The offense had a chance to talk things over. We'll see what they come up with here on this next play. do now with his drive and Jones has it over the middle and he takes this one just shy of midfield all the way to the 49 a very solid gain of 27 now whistles come in we're going to get a timeout here by the offense It'll be their second and final timeout, remember, here in overtime. We'll be back. So the offense takes the timeout, and they are back out and ready to rock. Allen on first and ten. Benjamin's got it. And he's brought down. Fifteen more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. This is a big spot for a rookie QB, and overtime's kind of where you earn your stripes, isn't it? It really is, and we've talked with enough coaches and players about how these youngsters are getting into the game and playing this at such a high level so early. But overtime, that's an entirely different animal, and he's handling it well. Yeah, starting to put together a nice drive. This quarterback now 13 out of 17 throwing the ball. He's got a first down. Hang on now. Three, 19. Ah. Now Allen. That is incomplete. He was looking for Charles Clay as tight end. And that'll bring up second down. Another nice job there defensively. They've really stymied their passing attempts, and it continues in overtime. And for them to do that, that means they've had to be cohesive on defense. Pressure in the quarterback's face, good coverage of not just the, the wide receivers, but the tight end, the running backs when they try and slip out, and making sure they're Let's at go. the point of attack. When the ball's in the air, they get there and help force some of those incompletions. 
And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. It's a six-yard loss on the play. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading the play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. The Bills on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and 16. From the gun, it's Allen. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. The Bills send the punter out. And in double overtime, this needs to be a good one. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. This being their second opportunity in overtime, third overall drive, see if they can settle into a rhythm. And that's what you're looking for. Get a few first downs, move the ball downfield, have some confidence, get yourself in a spot where you can at least kick a field goal to win it. But I tell you this, if I'm the play caller, I'm looking at that part of my sheet that says playmakers. Get the ball in their hands, critical situation. Now's their time. This is Howard on second down. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. He can muster only a yard there, and they'll be left with a third and very short. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short game. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. They go play action with Trubisky. And Robinson with a big catch. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. His first catch, and it's a big one in overtime. It's a first down. Charles, you get into these overtime situations, that's not a bad guy to dial into. Well, when you have to have plays, especially in a spot as you just described, we're an OT, you've got to go to the guys you can trust and you know are going to make the plays. Well, they say, it's not the X's and the O's, it's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. First and ten, it's Trubisky. They'll leave it for Cohen, complete. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Now before this second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. That's their second and last timeout here in the overtime session. We'll be back. And welcome back, the offensive unit. They took the timeout, and now they get set to line up as we resume action. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. From the gun, it's Trubisky. Toward the sideline, and he will have the first down as he was able to keep the feet in bounds. His first catch, and it's a big one in overtime. It's a first down. 
Well, this is how you shake the thoughts of that interception on the last drive. You come out and start this one four for four. And watching him throw it around with that type of confidence reminds me of a guy I played with way back when who told me, I don't care if I throw 10 interceptions in a row, I'm going to stay confident, keep flinging it. I'll just figure there's something wrong with the football. Now Trubisky on first down. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. They'll get four there out of the screen, and it's second down. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Hey, 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 hey. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That'll go as a loss of five. And that's going to make it third down and ten. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has a real priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. The Bears on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and 10. Now it's Trubisky. And this is Gabriel on the catch. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up, keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. Now the Bills will take another timeout. They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside here in overtime. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. So here's the former Pro Bowler, Cody Parkey, in field goal formation. This to win it in overtime. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short. No good. And we will play on here in overtime. Well, when you get that ball in OT, that's not the chance you envision, and the long field goal attempt here winds up lacking. And you don't want to hang too much of this on your kicker, but he's going to leave you in a tough spot as well because you give your opponents excellent field position to start their first drive. And now out come the Bills. They were forced to punt last time, and I doubt sincerely that they'll have to punt here because they're gifted with terrific field position. I don't even want to think about the idea that they would end up punting starting with this type of field position. Neither do they. Great starting spot. Great opportunity to run your full playbook. They want to take a shot here, they can go ahead and do it. So good field position for the Bills as they come up first and 10. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. 
It'll be a loss of one, and that'll bring up a second and 11. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. Again, it's McCoy, and that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. He lost two there, and it's third down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker, and what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. The Bills on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is going to be third and 13. Four down, four down. Now let's go. <laughs> Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. And he'll check this one down to McCoy. It'll be a pickup of just two. And it'll be fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. The Bills send the punter out. On for a very important punt here in overtime. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. The last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a little time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at the 20. Out of the gun, Trubisky. Being chased out left. <laughs> and they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. And we are back here. I'm Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. So the offense takes a timeout. And now we're set to get going. down Trubisky he's gonna let this one go deep so they took a shot on first down but couldn't connect and that's what he's got to be happy to have back there wasn't a hole open in the zone you'd have to think on early downs like that first down there need to be a little bit more careful yeah fortunately for him got a couple more downs to play with so now second and ten after the incompletion on first down Trubisky will throw. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Now, he's been a busy man out of the backfield. They've looked his way quite a bit so far in this game. Nice job there defensively, though, adjusting, because a couple of his earlier catches, he was wide open. Not that time. You mentioned the key word, adjustment. A better cover man on him now in space. So now third and ten. A big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Now Trubisky to throw. 
They find some open field here. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. Now the timeout comes here in the waning seconds of this overtime as we could be set up at long last for a potential game winner. So the offense took the timeout. Looks like they're ready to go as we get set to resume the action. So here's the former Pro Bowler, Cody Parkey, in field goal formation. Now the timeout comes here in the waning seconds of this overtime as we could be set up at long last for a potential game winner. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. So here's the former Pro Bowler, Cody Parkey, in field goal formation. This to win it in overtime. And he got it. The kick is good in overtime. He's able to split the uprights. We were just treated to an absolute dandy in this one. A great finish in overtime with a long field goal. Everybody, including us, on the edge of their seats. Quite a game and it's rare that you get a game into overtime, that it doesn't turn out to be a dandy, right? That's what we saw here. And just what you were talking about, a long field goal to win it. So definitely not a gimme. So there was tension all the way through until the ball went through the post. But it did go through the post. Ice water was in his veins. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Day.